Uh, we also are uh, finding sheep sorrel in this patch here. They tend to grow in little, they look like little family bunches. And sheep sorrel was named because it kind of looks like a sheep's head with two ears. Um, the taste is really delicious to me. I like it. It's tangy. Um, it's the same oxalic acid that's in the wood sorrel that we did a video on. Um, and when it gets a little older, it'll send up a stalk and have little uh, seeds on it. Gumby. Mm -hmm, tiny red flowers and seeds. And um, it usually grows in disturbed areas. You see? And we like to put that in the, our salads. And um, Gumby, you have anything else to add? Um, my mom made a salad dressing out of it one time, and I think mm -hmm. it was based on a Yule Gibbons recipe. Um, I'm not sure how she did it, but I do remember it being good. And uh, I know people make like a lemonade out of the wood sorrel. I suspect something could be made similar out of this. But what we like to do um, is just gather a bunch of it when we see it. And often when you see it, there's a little tribe of it. Like there's a, a nice colony of it. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we leave more than we take because we want it to proliferate and respect the plant. Um, but we just kind of throw it in everything. We might throw it on a salad, uh, in a burrito, on a sandwich. Um, it's just a great flavor. I've yet to throw it into anything that I was sorry that I did. And it's a really good texture too. It's kind of crispy. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, go out in your yard and look for it. We used to have it in our yard in Durham, North Carolina, and we're here in the mountains, and it's just kind of growing in a somewhat disturbed tree line area. So it's pretty common, um, but it's really fun, and I like it. Yeah, very common plant, so get you some. <laughs>